Rodents and pests can be so destructive and carry diseases that you don't want them in your RVs. Today, I have some key strategies for making sure that rodents don't get inside your RV and destroy things, along with other pests too. Now the daunting task of trying to keep your RV pest free can be a difficult one. So today I want to give you a list of strategies that have worked for other RVers and us for being able to keep it pest free inside of the RV because it, it can really be a lot like a battle and when something works on one end of the country it may not work in the other. So keeping these lists of strategies can help you out as you travel around with your RV and need to adjust your strategies to keep the pests out. And the first strategy I would say is don't give them an easy path in. Seal up any entry that you can find so that they can't find their way into the RV. This step is critical to the success of the mission. You want to search out and find all the ports of entry where the holes might have been drilled a little bit too big or something was cut and not sealed up, and you want to cover that. So a good strategy here is to stuff steel wool inside of that hole, inside of that crack or crevice. And if you can get caulking on it, caulk that in so it's not just going to fall out or it can't be pulled out. Or you can use that great stuff foam to be able to foam in that steel wool in there. So it's a great way for keeping the mice out. Now, still wool, it will rust if it comes in contact with water. So if it's gonna be on the exterior and that still wool is gonna have splashing when you're driving down the road, you're not gonna wanna use that because you don't want the rust there. So you can use copper wool or a copper mesh in that kind of a situation. If it's a larger area where air needs to be able to pass through it, you can use like a lath mesh in there, something tight enough that a, a mouse can't go through it, but air can pass through it. Now in our storage area, we can use something like this. So this is aluminum screening. You could also get like a, a galvanized mesh to be able to use in some of those areas, but I'll put links down in the description to everything that we're talking about today. Now in extreme circumstances, I've even seen people use copper wool or that copper mesh around the hose coming inside of the RV so that where it doesn't maybe seal up completely and you don't, you can't permanently seal it up, that copper mesh around the hose in that opening can keep the mice from coming in and crawling up your hose and into the RV. So that can even work. Honestly, this step can't be overstated. You want to seal up all these holes. So this is a very important step to do. You don't want to concede the easy path in and having that battle be done just inside of the RV. You want to block them from coming in. So one of the things that we use is this pest blocker great stuff. It's the pest version. It's a gray foam rather than it being a yellow foam. I prefer using this with the steel wool. Now, another strategy that I've seen work for other RVers, we don't have this on our RV, but having that light underneath the RV does deter some rodents. Now, I'm not talking about the awning light or the front cap light or a light that shines outward, but the light that's underneath the RV that shines down. And I've even seen some people use rope light underneath their RV to try and deter some of the rodents from coming in. Now this next one I've seen work really effectively and it's called rid a rat And it's basically a very low powered device, a, a strobe light, and it drives them nuts. So if you have an area where they're trying to make a nest, you can use this rid a rat and they won't make a nest there anymore. They'll, they'll find somewhere else to try and go bother. So no, I'm not saying turn your RV into a strobe like rave party, but you can use this light in an area where you can keep them out of that might be a problem area. Now, there's a couple of different versions of these, and I'll put links down in the description to all of them. This is the double A version, so you just put a couple of double A's in, and it'll last for six to eight months. Uh, they do have a 12 volt version where you can just connect it directly into the battery of the RV, and then you don't have to worry about swapping out the batteries. And there are some other brands out there. I really like this Ritterat one just because it's made in the US, and uh, they do work really well. They have some magnets on the back, so you can mount it wherever you'd like or magnetize it to wherever you would like. So it just comes in handy and it works well. We have a solution that has worked really well for us keeping the mice out of the RV, but there is a list of things that people have used that sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, depending on where you're at. So the mint oil, you can use that in locations where they might be trying to get in and having cotton balls with mint oil in them, the, the mice won't come in in that area. I've heard of mothballs. I've also heard of the rodent repellent where you plug it in and it puts out that ultrasonic sound. For some people it's worked, for some people it hasn't. Uh, for some, I've 
actually heard that it messed with their pets, with their animals. It changed the behavior of their dog until they unplugged it. So that is something to consider and to, to look for if you're going to use and try something like that. The strategy that we have been using and it's been working well for years is we hired a mercenary and she comes in here and she is naturally disposed to want to seek out rodents and eradicate them from inside of the RV. And so that works really well for us. We might just have one critical area in this is we've made the bed a little too comfy and cushy and we might be overfeeding just a little bit, which takes away from the motivation to actually seek out the mice. But we haven't had any issues yet. So hopefully we won't. Now our strategy for keeping bugs, ants, spiders, and that kind of thing on the outside of the RV and not getting to the inside is we spray our RV. Basically anything that touches the ground, we will spray that. So our blocks, our landing gear, our power cord coming in, our steps when they touch the ground. Uh, we spray just behind the axles because if they get on the wheels, that's fine, but I don't wanna spray the wheels. So I spray just behind the axles so they can't get to the rest of the RV. So these are the things that we do to keep those bugs and spiders out. And usually we spray and then we'll go for months. And then when we start to see a spider here or there, we'll respray our RV and keep those bugs from coming inside of the RV. And I like this strategy because when we travel around, we're not having to affect other things in other places. We basically just affect our RV. We're not sprinkling something around the RV trying to keep the ants from coming in. Because if you've ever had an infiltration of ants and trying to get rid of them, it can be extremely difficult. And this strategy has worked really, really well for keeping the ants on the outside of the RV. So my suggestion to you as you're trying to keep the bugs and the rodents on the outside of the RV is to use these different strategies. And if one isn't working and one does, focus in on the one that does. So if the, the mint oil works really well for you and keeping them out in that area of the country, then dive in on that. But some areas of the country, it's almost like they use that mint oil to like make a latte or something. Like they love those kind of things, like the Irish spring soap. Some places it works, some places they eat it. So you have to try these different things. Just like sometimes the downy dryer sheets will deter the rodents from coming in and sometimes they'll use it as a blanket. So find what is effective. And if you have your RV in storage, I would say check on it a couple of times through the storage season to see if you have a problem coming up. You don't want to find that in the spring and it sat all winter long. You want to find that somewhere in the middle and adjust your strategy. Sealing up and using that steel wool or copper mesh to not give them the easy path in and using some of those deterrents to keep them out is probably going to be your best strategy. But either way, I think that's going to do it for today. I hope these tips help you out and help you extend the life of your RV so it doesn't get overtaken by the rodents or infested by bugs or ants. And that's definitely going to bring down the, the value of you enjoying the RV. So I want to increase how you enjoy the RV and your RVing experience. So hope you guys like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. If we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will. See you next video.